sleep. Second, methods of inducing sleep. Third, methods of avoiding sleep. And fourth, how to wake up, which is very important. First, causes of sleep. Sleep is induced by the blood leaving the brain, thus. Or, as in the case of alcoholics, the brain leaving the blood. We now come to a study of those factors which send the blood to the brain, thereby making sleep impossible. This is known as insomnia or chronic pillow inflation. Chief among the methods of keeping blood in the brain is worry. You can worry better sitting up. Worry can be caused by putting your mind on any one thing. No matter what it is, you'll find it easy enough to worry about it in the middle of the night. There's a theory that if you count imaginary sheep jumping over a fence, you'll induce sleep. This has been proven to be a fallacy, as the patient is likely to start worrying about one of the sheep not quite making it. Now, another thing which keeps the blood in the brain and prevents sleep is noise. Any unaccustomed noise strikes the eardrum and stimulates circulation in the brain. One of the most common of disturbing sounds is the flapping of window shades. Well, I guess that'll be all for today.